Outlander bids farewell to integral member of production team after season 5 finale. The historical drama says goodbye to its long-standing production designer John Gary Steele. Outlander's cast and crew have announced the departure of production designer John Gary Steele from the show following the series 5 finale. Steele worked as a production on Outlander from its first first series until the most recent series, which ended on Sunday. Sam Hagen, who plays Jamie Fraser on the historical drama, and executive producer Meryl Davis took to Twitter to bid Steele farewell and thank him for his work on the past five series. Thank you for five seasons of incredible design work, wrote Davis. And thank you for being so much fun to work with. Until next time 20. He has since worked on new horror series The Sandman, a TV reboot of the cult horror franchise set to land on Netflix in 2021. A Series 6 of Outlander is currently in the works, however with the coronavirus pandemic halting production crews all over the entertainment industry, it is unclear when the series is likely to return to Stars and Amazon Prime. Outlander Series 5 is available to stream on Amazon Prime in the UK. If you're looking for more to watch, check out our TV guide. That Claire drifts through this sequence without speaking, aside from no and Jamie is at first off-putting. With her 60s coiffure and matching red dress and nails, she looks like a vacant housewife, with nothing of the courageous doctor presiding over battlefields and in her home surgery. Yet once Katrina Bailf, who, it should go without saying, acted the hell out of this whole episode provided more context in an interview with the New York Times, it made more sense, while earlier drafts had her inhabiting the dreamscape the way the others were, it ultimately didn't make sense for her to be talking about Thanksgiving dinner in that moment. Instead, Balf explained, those two utterances are her grasping onto moments in her life that make her safe and comforted. Then there's the orange. Execute producer Tony Graffia who Cal wrote the episode with showrunner Matthew B. Roberts, explained to Elle how the symbol was a callback to Claire's non-consensual sex in season 2, after Claire sleeps with the King of France to save Jamie's life, when she leaves Versailles Palace, the last thing she does is pick up the orange and take it with her. It was a small gesture by Claire, a choice that symbolizes that she's leaving with her dignity. Later in this finale, when confronted with the opportunity to kill Lionel on her operating table, Claire flashes back to that orange and picks it up, an indication, Graffia said, of her taking the high road, she's got a piece of herself that no one can ever take from her. That sentiment is what the episode builds to, the depiction of Claire's personhood being violently taken away ultimately as secondary to how much of herself she retains by the end. I'm reluctant to linger on the rape because that's not the entirety of the story, but neither do I want to dismiss it as just par for the course for an 18th century woman, or a woman of any century, really. Grimly unsurprising as it was, it was nonetheless so difficult to watch.